G'day and welcome to the Thunder from Down Under podcast. I'm your host, Graham Solomon, and today we've got a, uh, a special guest to come in, David Frizzell, and um, he's going to come in to the studio today. So what we do is we bring in people that are in the trenches in the REI business and in the Facebook group where I used that David would be coming in today. And you may know him from the wholesalers in the industry. So without any further ado, I've got David in the green room. We'll bring him in and um, we'll get started. So welcome to the podcast, guys. And I'll just click and bang. There we go. We've got David in. Thanks, David. Right. Thanks for coming in. Appreciate your time. And um, yeah, yeah, we just would we'll start off with um, if you introduce yourself, tell us a little bit about your background, where it all started. Um, and yeah, we'll head off to where you are now, type of thing. So, the okay. Well, <laughs> mine. I am uh, David Frizzell, and I currently run the website, The Wholesaler's Toolbox. Some of you might have gone there and, and got wholesaling contracts or scripts or gone to the wholesaling university. But I started The Wholesaler's Toolbox without intention of it becoming what it is today. Originally, I was just selling leads off of it, and it's just evolved. But um before we get into that, you know, my my history, um, you know, I've, I've been around uh, real estate and real estate investing and, and some aspect of it my whole life. Uh, as a kid, I, uh, you know, I rehabbed houses with buddies of mine. I did a lot of painting of houses and did things like that and um, went into sales and then eventually got into real estate. I got my real estate license in a couple of states. I was a licensed mortgage broker. Um, I've inspected houses for investors. I've rehabbed. I've done pretty much everything <laughs> around the, the real estate industry. And, um, you know, it wasn't it wasn't a plan. I didn't I didn't you know say, oh, I want to do this and I want to do that. But but I think throughout my life doing the things that I've done with with real estate and, and experience different niches of real estate. It really helped me when when I was exposed to real estate wholesaling and I said, wow, you know, all my skills kind of, you know, kind of play into this. And it, and it made it easier for me to, you know, to wholesale real estate. So and here we are today. Today, I, I run the website and I still wholesale, not as much as I used to because of running the website. But, um, you know, when I come across good deals and I've got some, you know, some friends and some buddies that are investors and I'll wholesale the properties to them. And, uh, you know, I just continue to learn and, and grow and see where this takes me. Yeah. And you're you're in you're based in Florida now, but you were initially a lot of this stuff happened from you're in Michigan at the time. You yeah, were, it, 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 I was I was actually a, a, a licensed a realtor in Florida, and I was a mortgage broker here in Florida. But then, you know, when the housing market collapsed back, you know, 2008, 2009, we went back to Michigan. And that's where I really got exposed to the investor side of this business, because I started inspecting houses for investors, going out and, and taking photographs of houses that they were thinking about buying and rehabbing, giving them, you know, uh, just a ballpark uh, figure on what it would cost to rehab the houses. And that's really how I got my feet wet in the investor side of it. And then, you know, it just got sucked into it from there. Yeah, and that's that's a great um, point. We've spoken about this before. And um, if you could just elaborate on that a bit, because obviously the Facebook group um, that I've got is about collaborating, uh, mm -hmm. networking and JVing, obviously. But, I mean, that that's sort of part of the theme is um, like, especially if you start off and, you know, it takes a while to to build up deals and that what you did is, you know, we've spoken about it is a great way to earn money what and, and connect yourself with people in the industry sort of in the trenches while you're trying to build up your business on the, you know, on the side. So yeah, if you just yeah. want, I mean, I don't know if you want to elaborate on that and just. Absolutely. I, I try, you know, I have the, the YouTube channel uh, and, and, have done videos talking about that, but, you know, 
it's hard when somebody or when an audience wants to wholesale and that's what they they have their mindset on when you talk about real estate photography or you talk about you know rehabbing or you talk about you know cleaning properties or whatever nobody wants to hear it <laughs> you don't you don't get through to many people but really for so many people getting into wholesaling because they have you know no experience they might not have any sales experience they don't have any negotiating experience and or any of kind of the key uh tools that you need going into wholesaling it's so beneficial to pick something you can do in the industry and and do that and make money while you're learning how to wholesale so for example when you know when i started getting into the business and, and taking pictures for investors because there was a, a company that was buying properties and they were rehabbing them, putting tenants in it and then selling it as an investment property overseas. So they hired me because they were buying so many just to go out and take pictures. So they didn't have to leave the office. They didn't have to go do whatever. So I'd go out and take pictures and just say, hey, you know, it's approximately, you know, $10,000 to get this property, you know, rent ready or whatever, but they would pay me $150 per property to go to do that for them because it was worth it to them to pay it. And, and of course, you know, I like the money, but, but it gave me exposure. You know, I knew what kind of properties they were looking at, what they thought was a good investment deal, what kind of money they wanted to spend on it. And I just was exposed to, you know, the, the, the guys rehabbing the properties and the, the property management companies and all that. So without going to somebody and saying, Hey, can you mentor me? I really, by doing something like that, I made money and I got free mentoring. You know, they didn't know they were mentoring me, but that's what was going on. So if it's, you know, if it's, you know, inspecting houses or, or, or taking pictures of them or going out and doing video or doing, you know, whatever cleaning properties or, or whatever it's whatever you can do to find exposure, to get into the business, do it, you know, and, and it's all going to take you down the same path. If you want to eventually own your own properties or eventually own your own rehab company or just wholesale or whatever, you're going to get there. You're just going to take your time and learn these aspects of the business, make money while you're doing it, and then eventually get to your goal. Yeah, so I mean that they're great points, and and that also, I mean, how much did that help you build a network? Did you did that sort of without you oh, knowing? Oh, that's you a great, it? yeah, great deal. So so uh, originally, when I went for that company, I was taking pictures for them. Um, doing that for a while and then i i came into contact with people overseas that that were buying properties in the states and they were having issues with you know property management companies or tenants you know or, you know or or uh, people rehabbing their properties uh, you know they they didn't they weren't getting the service that they expected or they were being a lot of times sold properties that weren't what they thought they were whatever so i saw a, an opportunity there and and i had reached out to one of them uh i don't remember what, if it was on facebook or whatever and and said you know i work over in that area a lot and i know you're having problems with your property if you would like i would go you know i could go over by there and take you know take a video of the property and you know and show you what's going on with the rehab and all that stuff so i did it and i didn't charge her but i just did it as an experiment so i went over there took the video and you know walked through the property with a little video camera and um and loaded it up to youtube and sent it to her and she's like oh this is you know the greatest thing in the world and all that well, she knew other people in her network that were also buying properties here. So then they started contacting me to do the same thing. So, so I put together a little website um, for inspecting property. I think it was inspectdetroit.com. Um, and, and people would come to that website, people from out of Detroit, you know, overseas or, or out of state or whatever, and pay me to go 
look at their properties. So I started building relationships with all those investors and, you know, with, with, you know, I'd go and look at houses that, you know, people were selling or whatever. And I started to build this network just from doing that. Now, again, I wish I could say, oh, you know, this was all planned out. You know, this was, I planned on doing this before I got into holes. <laughs> that wasn't the case. You've just led me along that path, right? I got into that. Uh, you know, I eventually got into rehabbing and different things, but it, it, it drew me into the investing world. And I think that's what most of the people in your group or, you know, wholesaling, you know, as a whole, they're, they're, a lot of them are using wholesaling as an entry point to get into the business. And, you know, one day they might be buy and hold investors or, or they might want to have a property management company or whatever, but this is just a, a, a lot of times a stepping stone to get where they want to go. And any of these skills, will help them on that journey. And David, how long ago was this? How many years ago was this <laughs> when when you started doing this? So I, I, we went back up in Michigan, I believe it was 2009 when we went back up there. Within a couple months, I was doing, uh, I was actually doing inspections for uh, occupancy inspections for the banks for properties that, you know, were going into foreclosure. And uh, I did that for I, only for a few months and then got hooked up with the guy that, you know, owned the the uh, the investment property company. So I'm going to say it was, you know, probably mid 2009. Right. Maybe maybe fall 2009 when I when I started, you know, inspecting houses for them. Uh, probably a, a year years ago. Probably, I'm sorry. Sorry, that's about 12 years ago you were doing probably that. About 12 years ago, yeah. Yep. And then, you know, like I said, it progressed from there. You know, probably a year or so later to when I started doing, you know, like the videos. Uh, wasn't that long after that where I got talked into, um, you know, putting together some rehab crews and actually rehabbing for in, in investors. And then I did that about four years um rehabbing houses and and i was just i was doing so many of them because once you you start in that business and you do a good job and people like your work and it's you know they rent the house easy because it looks nice and all that you get more work than you know what to do with so i had multiple crews working and was just doing so many properties in detroit i just got burned out because i was working you know getting up at five o'clock in the morning and working until midnight and, um, uh, you know, it, then, then I heard about wholesaling I, 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 and I don't remember where I heard about it, but I thought that sounds a lot better than what I'm doing. You know, if I can, if I can find a property and, you know, get it under contract and flip it and make, you know, five grand or eight grand or 10 grand or whatever. And, you know, for that little amount of work, actually it sounded a little too good to be true, but I found out, you know, that it wasn't, it, you know, it's, it, you know, it was actually a thing, but, um, you know, it's a crazy, it's a crazy path. You know, it's, it's, you don't expect, you know, just like with the, you know, the, the website and the YouTube channel in a million years, I, I didn't expect to be here, but you know, here I am. So, yeah, now uh, uh, 12 years and, what that that strikes me that um, you know, and I said this um, last week when I was talking to to Nicholas. Um, you know, we've got this virtual wholesaling model now that's been developed, say, really, really heavily over the last two years since COVID come, yeah. and everyone's you know, it, it's forced people to to go more virtual. You were working mm -hmm. on it on the model twelve years ago. That's what I mean. Like this, you know, that that's pretty innovative because you actually had a virtual model so people could actually use your services yes. to then because they could trust you to then have you know really good boots on the ground someone that was trustworthy someone that had knowledge because you've done all aspects of real estate so i mean you know once again that's sort of pretty innovative and then like you said you moved on into um another area like through wholesaling but um it's a common theme a lot of fix and flippers end up in wholesaling because they say you know they burnt themselves out they just went too hard <laughs> so i hear that a fair yeah. bit um but yeah, so so you know, I guess what I'm trying to say is, you've got that innovative nature, and that's probably what you know. You see a problem, you try and you know have a solution. I think you, you you have to 
to be really successful in, in real estate, the real estate investing niche, you have to you have to be innovative and you have to really think about things and look for opportunities. So, you know, everybody wants to, you know, to get into wholesaling or get be a buy and hold or whatever, but along the way, look for the opportunities because so many people just walk by them, you know, and, and um, you know, I, I heard a long time ago that you make money doing the things that other people don't want to do. And, and that's why wholesaling it works is because investors don't want to spend the time and effort and, and do all these things to go out and find great deals like wholesalers do. So, you know, we go out and get in the trenches and, and you know, get our, you know, get our hands dirty and, and do the negotiated and everything like that. And then we just hand the sweet deal to the investor. So by, you know, for doing that, we get paid, you know, an assignment fee or, a, you know, a, a finder's fee or whatever you want to call it for doing that. But don't, you know, if you're getting into this business and, and say you're not an overseas investor, you're here in the States, you know, in your market, look for those opportunities because, you know, you can you can, you know, send mail uh, all day long to, you know, trying to find motivated sellers. But, you know, if you find out the investors who are out of the country buying in your market, there's so many opportunities because they need somebody they can trust here. And, you know, once you start doing that, you're taking pictures and you're, you know, you're, you're doing whatever you're going by to check on the people rehabbing the properties or you're doing something with the property manager. Then once you have those relationships and you come across a property that's a good buy, you've already got your buyers. You've already got a, a, a relationship built with them. So it's just a matter of, you know, sending them a message or, you know, getting on the phone with them and saying, hey, I came across this great deal. And, you know, they'll wire the funds and it's done, you know. So it's, yeah. you know, it's, it's, you're making money and building your network. Yeah. And as, as we've spoken about before, Dave, I mean, you were actually, earning, you don't have to go into figures, right? but you're actually earning really good money by doing that. I mean, you, you were surprised. I was, by yeah. When, when I was, you know, and I probably underpriced my services, but I, I, you know, when I started doing it, I thought, okay, what is it worth for me to get in the car and drive over to a house, you know, that was, you know, within 20, 30 minutes of where I live, take a video, drive back home. And I thought hundred bucks, somebody threw me a hundred dollar bill. I'd be willing to do that. So when I put my website together, I charged $99, right? $99 to go do that. And I was doing like five or six properties a day, you know, with, with the video, with the video. And now I would also, you know, take pictures if they wanted pictures taken. I would do a, not a home inspection, but I would do a property condition report where I would walk through and, you know, I just have a checklist and I would say, you know, needs a roof, you know, needs a kitchen, uh, the furnace is missing or whatever, and just go through there and just mark everything that I could visually see wrong with the property. So I charged, you know, for that. And, you know, I had my little list of services on there, but yeah, I was making good money. And honestly, you know, until I got talked into, you know, wholesaling or uh, rehabbing properties, I could have just kept that business model going and, and kept making money doing that. We've talked before about this, but but how I promoted that once I got going and once I got my website built and everything like that, I actually ran uh, Google paid ads that would just show up overseas in Australia or in the UK or wherever. And uh, so if somebody was, you know, searching for, you know, Detroit investment properties or property management companies in Detroit or whatever, you know, terms that, you know, indicated that they were a foreign investor looking at the Detroit market, my little ad would pop up for, you know, uh, Detroit, you know, investment property, rental inspections and all that. So I drove a lot of business doing that. And I mean, the ads cost me nothing. I mean, it was, you know, maybe... 30 cents a click or something like that. So, you know, it was very lucrative to do it that way. But my point is, you know, be, if you're getting into, you know, the JV space and you're, you're in the country, be creative and, and, and figure out some other avenues along with wholesaling where you can make some money while you're doing it. So you're not struggling to get that first deal. And you're like, 
you know, you quit your job and you're like, I'm going to be a wholesaler. And then you're, you know, sending mail and buying bandit signs and, and doing all these things that cost money, you know, just praying, you know, that you will close a deal. If you have another income source in the space, you're still learning it, but you're still making money. Yeah, that's a, that's an awesome point. And this is <coughs> this interview is going into also a international group of people that are all mm-hmm. over the world that do U.S. Um, wholesaling, um, land, you know, creative finance. And we could all, I mean, there's people waking up in the middle of the night, with, you know, with the sense that, hang on, I, I need to hear this because one of the most important things is being able to link up with people like that because, you know, you need to be able to trust someone and you need you need good people on the ground. So, you know, some people might not, might miss this because they'll be in bed, but when they actually see it, they'll go, yep, that's, that's exactly what we need. So, there's, there's yeah. a huge market for that. And um, I want to get into what you're doing now, but, um, you know, and get into the, the you know, what, what you're doing with your website and the, the wholesalers toolbox. And, okay. Um, but the, the last thing is, I just want to run through. So basically, just to recap, you know, you started off, you know, when you were young, you were around, you were around fix and flips, you were helping paint places when you were young. You say so you've also... You, that you was that was my that was my side hustle. Yeah. yeah. It, it, when I was when I mean it started when I was a teenager because my uh, my mom uh, like uh, was part owner in a motel, so I painted the rooms. Like when they were being redone, I would paint the rooms, and I did a lot of painting around there. But as you know, later later in my teens and in my early twenties, anytime I needed money or you know, I was like. I, you know, it's kind of kind of feeling broke and, and needed some extra spending cash. I would make up flyers for painting and I would go around to all the real estate offices and ask the receptionist to put it in, in the mailboxes of all the realtors because I didn't like painting houses that had people living in them because they're picky and they sit there and watch it all the time. So I liked vacant houses for painting. So I would just, that was my strategy. And every time I did it, I mean, I'd probably pass out, you know, 500 flyers or 1,000 flyers, but I'd always get deals off of it. So anyway, started with that and and I was around, you know, my mom was in real estate and, and, you know, so there, there was, I was just always doing something that was real estate related. And it's just, it's even though I had about 10 years where I sold industrial equipment, I sold forklifts and stuff, real estate's always been a thing with me. So, so you had, yeah, so that you you just mentioned that you've had the sales background, so that was gr- that was great grounding. Sales background, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to say this real quick, Graham. And this is for anybody that's thinking about getting into this business, and and they don't have, you know, they don't feel like they have the skills, or they get nervous every time they pick up the phone or whatever. When I was a little kid, I I was the shyest kid in the world. I, I mean, like if somebody stared at me you know, I'd go run and hide. That's, you know, when I was little, that's how shy I was. In the sixth grade, we had to get up and do a, you know, presentation in front of the class. And it was a third of our grade. And I almost failed the sixth grade because I didn't do it. I was scared to get up in front of people and talk. So for me to be a successful salesman and be successful in real estate and everything else, if I can do it, anybody watching this can do it because I was the person with the personality type furthest away from being able to do this for a living. Yeah, yeah, that's that's great advice because I think a lot of people new in the business just think they see people out in the industry and they go, oh, you know, they're great on the phone or whatever. But it wasn't always like that. It, no. You know, they think they're born it's... with it, right? That that person is yeah. just you know naturally outgoing and all that stuff. It's it's for me. It's the learned skill, right? If if it's, you know, as a, as a teen, if we would have had computers back then, I wouldn't have been doing this. I wouldn't have been on, you know, YouTube. I wouldn't have been any of this. I wouldn't have done. Yeah. So, so can- the other the other things I'll just quickly touch on is you also did um, finance. You're you're in uh, mortgage. Yeah, I was mortgage. A mortgage. I was served as a mortgage loan officer and did that for several years and then actually went and got my Florida mortgage broker's license. And I never had my own brokerage, but I, you know, I went out and tested and, and had right. that, you know, had that license. Uh, so yeah, I have a, I have a good background in, in, in mortgage and in finance. And even in the industrial equipment arena, I did a lot of financing of, you know, big, big projects. So yeah. 
Yeah, no, that's that's awesome. You you got a you know very varied background, but then you landed in like you said, you landed into the wholesaling world, and from there you've developed you know education. I guess you know you've got YouTube videos. You you're very informative. Um, we actually laugh because before I met you, um, I'd pinch one of your YouTube videos and put it in the group as an explanation of how to JV. Yeah. And there were so many in there. I mean, there was some, you know, some of the big names there. And I actually went to your one because you explained things really, you know, you know, for someone a simpleton like me, really, really good. And um, I, I think that's a, that's the thing is you, is you get it, bring it right back, strip it right back, and you've got the ability to be able to explain stuff to people. Um, and, and it doesn't just mean beginners, but people just on a on a, um, you know, for people to be able to take it in and really understand what's going on. So that's. What, what what you do with the wholesalers toolbox now isn't it? you you have content you have videos that explain contracts i mean can you tell yeah. us a bit more about the wholesalers toolbox I, I guess it was the you know the equivalent equivalent of you know seeing that investors needed videos of properties and in, in somebody locally when i started learning wholesaling i i saw a you know a, a kind of a void because everybody you know was either you know selling a course or or you know you you're familiar with everybody saying well just go watch youtube and you know and figure it out and i felt like there was something missing there was you know some place where you could get the information you needed to wholesale without paying a lot of money for it right so so although my website started you know i started using it just to sell vacant property leads i had found a good way to get and i thought well i'm putting a website together to sell these then i just started building on to it and i you know i i started putting more helpful content you know on how to wholesale properties or this tool's good or that tool's good then i did you know i put the contracts on there for people to download then i made videos that explained how to fill out the contracts and it and it's just kind of grown you know it's it's i had no intention of doing anything like that when i started it um and then you know the youtube channel that, that followed it was the same thing I, I i wanted a platform just to explain things to people because i, I you know i'd be in the face book groups and I just see a lot of misinformation when people would ask questions about about wholesaling and, and not that I can reach everybody with the YouTube channel but I just thought I was in my own little way combating that bad information by trying to put out some you know some good information so that's what the wholesalers toolbox you know all about I don't sell my own course you know everything on there I give away for free and it's just to help people not only here in the industry but even you know outside the country you know they so they can learn about wholesaling so they so they can see what the contracts look like and so they can you know understand you know why you need a good title company or how to find motivated seller you know those kind of things so it's you know completely free resource for everybody to use uh again i don't you know i don't charge anything for the wholesaler toolbox you just go on there and you know i have at it and dig around and find what you need yeah, yeah, I, I've been on there, um, you know, last week or two, really opening up the box, having a look, and I'm like, I had that moment. Where was David twelve months ago when I needed him? You know, like, it's, I was there. You just had it. And this is what I'm finding. This is why I'm bringing uh, guys like yourself, you know, guests onto the show because you don't want to get twelve months down the track, go around in circles, and then realize that all that information was already there. So, yeah. you know, that's what I'm trying to do in, in the Facebook group is get as much uh, information out there. So. Because these resources are unbelievable. I mean, you know, like you said, the um, the university you've got in there is free. You can do it for free, free. and it's it's just amazing. So, and I really appreciate you dropped um, the your contract bundle in the group about two weeks ago, I think it was. And I've been looking through that, and once again, the videos explain how to fill them out. Explain, and I just love the way that you explain stuff. You know, like I, I'd rather go to your stuff because um, it resonates with me the way that you explain it, and. I, I think um, your method is keep it simple. Just keep it simple. Explain it simple. No bells and whistles. And I think um, a lot of people now just want to go back to basics and take away all the fluff. And just and I think that you're an expert in doing that. And um, yeah, I encourage people. I've got your um, your website sort of across the screen now, so I encourage people to go and have a yeah, look. Yeah, there at you it. go. 
check it out. Check, yep. Yeah, check it out. So, yeah, I'll just, just you, a thank if you. If you Google anything close to that, it'll come up. So, yeah. Right. yeah. And, and, and I've, had, or whatever. I've had a lot of people that I know, you know, through the industry that have actually contacted me and said, oh, you know, that's awesome what David threw in the group. So I appreciate And, you know, I've spoke to you. You've got that abundance mindset. You just give and you just, you know, just give stuff out and, you know, you, what goes around comes around. So, you, you know, and that and that probably that leads me to the next question more about, you know, you personally, you, you're pretty relaxed. Um, you live near the beach and, you know, we've spoken and and you're sort of big about the whole lifestyle as well, aren't you? You know, you know, yeah. um, you, know you, you believe about building a lifestyle with this business, not, not um, you know, so much an empire where, where you're just working 24 hours a day. Yeah, I, th- I think, you know, as uh, maybe as I have matured, I don't want to say as everybody matures, but as I have matured, you know, if you would have asked me, at, you know, 23, what I wanted, I, you know, I would have probably said, you know, uh, you know, a Corvette and, uh, you know, and a, a mansion or, you know, whatever, you know, but, you know, as I've gotten older, like you said, I want, I want the lifestyle. I want to, I don't want to be stressed. I, I spent years in mortgage and when I worked, you know, industrial equipment, I had, you know, bosses, you know, barking down my neck and, and, you know, mortgage business. I, I, you know, was successful in the mortgage business, but with that success came a lot of stress because, you know, you're, I kept a, a notepad by my bed because I'd be, you know, I'd be laying down for bed and it'd be, you know, 1230 at night and I'd go, oh crap, I've got to order that appraisal or I've got to talk, you know, and I would write down like things so I didn't forget them. And, you know, the, then, you know, as we talked about the, the mortgage industry collapsed and, you know, I kind of went back to square one and I thought, I don't want that stress again, whatever I get into, I don't, I, you know, I want to just live life for for me and my family and all that so i don't care about big mansions or fancy cars you know i want you know good cars and a nice place to live but it's more about the lifestyle living here by the beach uh being able to go for a walk over there and and, and clear my head hitting the pool you know at lunchtime if i want to go out for 30 minutes and get some sun and that's really that's really what me and my wife want now we don't want the crazy corporate lifestyle we're more in <laughs> for you know just you know Let's worry about our retirement and, and, and uh, you know, just live a simpler life. Yeah. And that's, that's the great thing about, um, you know, the real estate industry is you can amp it up if you want to, you can pull it back if you want to, you can tweak and adjust. And like you said, you can sort of pivot as you go and saying, look, I actually might go over there for a bit. So there's a lot of flexibility and um, we've spoken about, you know, the, I think it's called the, uh, digital nomad and that's becoming more popular now people are traveling and still doing business while they're traveling sure. um, yeah. all of these sort of things and, and you know like i said with things going really virtual now and you know like international and it can all be done with the technology it opens up it that can, opportunity it can all be done with technology and, and uh i on my website i promote some stuff for justin wilmont and the you know the 10 hour 10 hour wholesaler but he back years ago, I mean, back when I was you in the business, came up with his, you know, system where it's virtual wholesaling, uh, essentially. And, uh, you know, he's rebooted another program that's kind of a different take on that. But, you know, I did that back then after I started successfully wholesaling in Detroit. I had a buddy in um, here in Florida, here in the Tampa area that was a wholesaler. So I was kind of testing that virtual wholesaling thing back then. And I said, hey, if I market down there and come up with buyers or with sellers, will you handle the deal? And, you know, we'll do a split up. And he's like, absolutely. So I started sending, you know, postcards to to probate and you know, things down here. And we did some deals like that. So it's, you know, this can be done anywhere. You know, this JV model is, is great for, you know, not only people outside a country that want to get into the real estate market in America, but for people in America that, you know, they live out in the country, you know, they, you know, there's no place to go driving for dollars so they can pick a city or, you know, that someplace that's got a good investor market and go, there's, there's my market. That's where I'm going to do it. You know, and there, and there's so many other things like, you know, for, you know, somebody trying to do that. So I'm going to virtual wholesale but they can also offer like hard money uh, to their 
to their buyers and make money that way. Or, you know, there, there, I mean, there's just so many different avenues. If you, if you think about it, you know, in, in addition to just wholesaling virtually, you can do, you know, like I said, private money virtually, or you can do whatever, you know, just get a notepad and start thinking about what can I do for these people, you know, for buyers and sellers outside of that, outside of wholesaling and just package it all together. And so when you're promoting, you're promoting four things or five things and not just one thing. Yeah, that's, that's an awesome point. And I think, like you said, you, you go from being tunnel vision to op- once you start opening your mind up and the, the pennies start dropping, it, it's just the opportunities out there are amazing. You know, it's it's amazing. And, um, you know, actually, you just triggered something. I, I'm actually in a Facebook group where um, the guy's name's Kyle and they, they were travelling around in Winnebago with the family and everything. And he'd do all these Facebook lives, did his business. And I don't... Um, don't know how long he was on the road for, but he basically was running his successful business, traveling around the states in a in a mm-hmm. big motorhome. And I mean, that's what I mean. Like, the, you can do anything. And like, I'm, I'm hopefully going to try and get him in, you know, to explain how he did all that and how he set up. But like, um, I was I was going to actually mention jo- Justin Will, uh, sorry, Justin Wilmont, because um, like Kyle, Justin is very big on systems, having systems in place. So. Um, which makes it easier to do that, doesn't it? And, and like, especially oh, if you're yeah, running, sure. if you're running a business that's got got many different little things packaged into one, if you get your systems right, you can create that lifestyle. So, um, yeah. and and one of the, I mean, you know, one of the the questions I asked you, you know, um, when we spoke yesterday, was, uh, you know, you know, Justin, what's he like? And you said, yep, exactly what he projects is exactly <laughs> how he is. is. Because I think yeah. a lot of people see this stuff and they go, oh, no, nah, that's rubbish. That's not, you know. I think a lot, there, there's a lot of people in the real estate space that have, you know, have these personas that, that are not them, right? Because they are because they are selling a lifestyle, you know, and the, the Lamborghini and the mansion behind them and all this stuff. But like I said, I, I've known Justin for years, right? I, I, I bought his original course and after I used it, successful at it, I believe it was the first product that I put on the wholesaler's toolbox that people, if they were interested in virtual wholesaling, they could do. So I've known Justin for years and he truly is exactly like he comes across. He serves, he goes, you know, to Costa Rica for two months at a time. He has a big, you know, boat. He lives, you know, his office is right across the beach. And that's, it's all him. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. So, But yeah. he, the, you know, we're all in this for the same reason, right? We're all trying to build a certain lifestyle, be mm. it like, you know, me, you know, I want to live by the beach or Justin wants to go surfing or, or whatever. We, you know, we want to create a lifestyle and, and, you know, even for people that have bigger aspirations, you know, I want to, I want to own a, you know, a great big office and an office building and have 30 people working for me and we're going to do flips and we're going to do, you know what, if that's the dream you want, go after it, you know? So it's, you know, but we can all get there and, and no matter what your background, we're all new at some point, right? So don't, don't be afraid about being a new investor, or, you know, or a new wholesaler. Or I, I haven't, I don't know how to invest in the States or I don't know how to find buyers. We all started from scratch and we all went out and found, you know, the people that we work with and our partners and, you know, our wholesalers or, you know, whatever. So anybody can do it. Right. So if, if you know, if you're getting ready to start this journey and you're thinking, now oh, this is a lot. Just start with one thing, man. Go take pictures for somebody. Go, you know, go, um, you know, ask, you know, ask an investor if you can, you know, you can, you know, help them find properties and and go out with their, you know, rehab contractor, you know, when he looks at properties to see how he rehabs numbers, you know, just start building those relationships, you know, ask people to lunch, go out to lunch and pick their brain, you know, hey, you know, can we go, you know, 30 minutes and I'll buy a hamburger and, you know, you tell me how you got into this business or whatever, but just keep doing that, keep doing that. And if you immerse yourself in it, make friends in the industry, make, you know, those connections, you're, it's going to suck you in. You become part of what you're around. So get around it, get in it. Yeah. They, they, they're great little nugget size because, you know, you are who you hang around and and if you immerse yourself and put yourself out there, you'll attract more and more good people 
And um, yeah, no, and and that you know, like you said, if you want the mansion, the Ferraris, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you want the beach lifestyle, there's you can you can just pick and choose, and um, it's all good. Everyone's like you said in the same industry, heading in the same direction. Um, yeah, so let's um, we'll finish off. Let's reach into the wholesalers toolbox. Do you want to explain some of the services that you've got? Um, I mean, I know you've got you've got um, there's so much in there. Yeah, I guess the biggest thing is yeah, the wholesaling university. You go in there, opt into it to say, you know, you put in your name, and your email address, and you're in, right? There's nothing to buy, there's no upsells, and it will just kind of walk you through wholesaling and explain the business to you how you should do it, how to find a title company, how to find cash buyers, how to find motivated sellers, and you know, what all of it just walks you through. Um, contracts. I've got every contract you need. We, we've got the purchase agreement. We've got the uh, assignment agreement. We've got a JV agreement. We've got something that everybody, you know, nobody uses and should use is, is a notice of cancellation. If, you, if you're in a contract and you can't find a buyer opting out of it, um, all those forms are in there. All the videos that tell you how to use those forms are in there. Uh, I've got scripts in there. Uh, I've got, you know, links to, you know, any tool that you would need that I, you know, I think is a good tool, you know, prop streamer, vacant house data feed or motivated seller data feed, cash buyers list, blah, blah, you know, whatever, whatever you need in this industry. If it's not in the wholesale toolbox, you don't need it. Hmm, right. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's all there. So um, I'm getting into um, because of my background. Uh, I'm getting into uh, funding. So if you need, you know, transactional funding for a deal, if you, you know, you want to double close something, uh, you know, people can reach out to me for that. Um, if you need hard money for a deal, I'm, I, I, I have connections for hard money. So reach out to me for that. So anything you need, yeah, right? You don't see it on, the, on, the, on the wholesale toolbox, this, you know, shoot me an email and say, hey, this is what I'm looking for and I can help you find it. Yeah, so you got it covered pretty much from start to finish. That's awesome. And like I say, you know, from, you know, to the people watching, do yourself a favour, go in there and have a look. Like David uh, says, you know, there's this stuff in there, it's free. Um, the services that you can go from there, but David isn't a high-pressure person. He's like, come in, have a look, look around. He's, he, you know, he's not going to harass you. It's just if you want to look at some lending and that down the track, you know, reach out to him. So, no, that's awesome. It's a, it's a great resource. And just quickly, last before we finish up, you've uh, you're working on another project now. Which uh, do you want to explain that? Which um, is you know you've, you've just set it you've set it up on YouTube, and that's going to be sort of your next project. Um, do you want to go into what we're talking about? The beach bum stuff. The beach bum stuff. Yeah, <laughs> that's for me oh, too. Yeah, I'm working on it. It's, it's when as the 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 website the wholesalers toolbox got going and i started you know i started like i said i started with justin's program and i and i started adding you know other things prop stream and into different things but uh you know i'm i'm an affiliate for all those companies or most of them um because they're products that i use they're products that i believe in so you know i, I set up affiliate programs so that so if somebody you know, subscribes to one of those services or gets a care website or whatever, you know, they pay me a, an affiliate commission on it. Right. Um, and it, you know, when you, the nice thing about affiliates is if you do that and I promote things, it doesn't cost the buyer anymore, but they, you know, the company that created that product just share, you know, they pay me a commission for promoting it or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, I started a, a website called Beach Bum University, and it's still, you know, in the in the infancy stage. But I want to show people how to be an affiliate marketer because, like wholesaling, you know, there's so many people pitching like, "Oh, you know, my way is the greatest way to do it. Just buy my course, and you know, and I'll teach you and all that." But people struggle with, with it just like they do with wholesaling, and you know. They, you know, they, they put together a website, they spend this money for hosting and, and buying these things and then, you know, are never successful. So as a guy that almost did it by accident and all because I, I'm in groups that, that, you know, affiliate marketing groups and so many people fail at it. Uh, and I believe it's just because they're taught, you know, to go after the wrong things or, to, you know, do it the wrong way. 
I wanted to build the website to kind of teach people how to do what I do with affiliate marketing. So, you know, similar to the Wholesalers Toolbox, Beach Bum University is just going to, it's going to be free. Go on there and it's just going to, it's going to tell you how to profitably do affiliate marketing and, and live the lifestyle. You know, that's, that's the theme of it. You know, it's, is, you know, live your best life, you know, build a, build a business model so you can live your best life. And it's not, it's not fluff. I'm not going to lean against the Lamborghini or, you know, or anything that I, I might be laying against the surfboard. You might be to me at the bar, uh, you know, half, half drunk or something. But, but it's, about, it's just about living life and, and building building that lifestyle. Yeah, well, you've already got two members to that. That's me and Justin Wilmont. And I reckon if we can build a heap, a community of beach bums, right. we can we can have the, the conference of Bells Beach in Australia, a famous iconic uh, surf beach, and we'll get I'm you there. guys to come over. <laughs> Our tax deductible. <laughs> Fully tax deductible. So I know Justin. Yeah, well, that's right. That's right. So, no, <laughs> awesome. Um, thank you for coming on, David, and sharing all that. I mean, that's a lot of information. Um, I hope people sort of really go through the video you know, if they watch it later. And just firstly, go into to your resources because they're awesome. And then secondly, listen to you know someone that's been through a lot of different things in the industry and you've thrown out like a, a heap of gold nuggets. And I really appreciate your time because that's what it's all about is sharing that experience with people within the groups. And um, yeah, basically, you know, you've been around for you know 20 odd years plus in the industry and just sharing that information. And I know, I know you love doing it. That's why you do what you do, especially. With I really do, yeah, I really do love doing it. And again, yeah. you know, I'm not doing it to you know, promote myself and I'm not, you know, I've got the affiliate programs, but I'm not, you know, I don't force anybody to buy affiliate programs or aren't, you know, sell anything. It's there. If you want it, you know, do it. If you want to, yeah. you know, ask me a question or, or see something on this, you know, podcast that you're, you know, you're interested in, send me an email and I'll reply to you. And, um, and I'm, I'm truly just, you know, I'm here, you know, trying to help people yeah. you know, succeed yeah. in their journey. So. No, nah, awesome. I appreciate your time. And we've actually made time. We're about a minute over, but we've actually, which is amazing because when we've talked in the past, we've gone for about four hours. So <laughs> this is fantastic. I and mean, we're, we're about a minute over. So I'll let you go. You've got you've got to go and go for a walk on the beach. It's you said it's beautiful. I'm out of here. Yeah, I'm so going. I appreciate it. And yeah, I'll um I'll wrap it up. I'll I'll put you back in the green room and you can you can warm down and I'll just wrap it up um with the people on the podcast. But uh, no, thank you very much. Right. Enjoy enjoy your day and um we'll catch up later. Awesome. Thanks, David. Good luck, everybody. Talk to you. Cheers, mate. Thanks. Bye. Okay, guys, there you go. There's um, David Frizzell, who, you know, is the, the wholesaler's toolbox. He's got a few other things going, but I really appreciate, appreciate him coming on. He's a wealth of knowledge, and he is genuinely a, a guy that will share any information. So do yourself a favor. The the website's there. You know, get his email address, like he says. He's... he's approachable you can you can reach out to him so do yourself a favor reach out to him and firstly just go into the wholesalers toolbox and have a look at the stuff that's there the people in my uh, facebook group have been uh blessed enough that he's, he's dropped a bomb in there a couple of weeks ago so if you have if you're not in the group and you see this go in there and check him out and um yeah it's been great talking to him and he's really one of the nice guys in the industry so if you need to reach out to him so i'll sign off for now guys thanks for joining us on the Thunder from Down Under podcast. And if you guys can, um, wherever you see this, if you can like it, smash the like button. And we've got the, we've just started the um, Graham Solomon Thunder from Down Under uh, Facebook business page. So if you see it in there, go in there, hit the like button, leave comments and um, yeah, spread the love. You know, if you've got any comments uh, that you want to put in there for David, um, some positive feedback for David, throw them in there too, because that's, you know, it's encouraging for the people to come on to know that they're, they're reaching out to people. So, all right, I'll sign out now. Thank you very much guys for coming in and watching. And once again, I'll thank David. And if you get a chance to do what David's doing, go for a nice walk outside if you can, if the weather's good and enjoy the rest of your week. Okay. See you guys.